portable communication devices can enrich our lives and allow us to be productive, informed, connected, and mobile. However, advances in location and monitoring software potentially leave us exposed to exploitation. Even if this software can be used to catch cheating spouses, protect our children, or monitor the well-being of elderly parents, it also provides an avenue for abuse. In the following scene, three studio heads visit the headquarters of Pinnacle Studios for an industry meeting, where we'll see that even a trusted assistant can be corrupted. Welcome, everyone. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, Mary. Is John ready for us? Well, Mr. Firestone will be ready for you in just a few minutes. Until then, uh, please feel free to use the executive lounge. It's fully stocked. You can relax, have a drink. I'll take really good care of your cell phone, like I always do. Thank you so much. And the executive lounge is right down the hall on your left. Thank you. Thank you. Five minutes. Anytime you surrender control of your portable electronic device, you become vulnerable. In the scene we just watched, our studio heads leave without realizing that their smartphones have just been compromised. One of the studio heads, Craig, is away on a business trip. In fact, right now he is 2,500 miles away in New York City. How do I know? Because I've been able to track Craig's movement from his Hollywood studio all the way to New York City. He's just now being seated at his favorite rooftop restaurant in Manhattan. Not only do I know where he is, but I've also been able to monitor his text exchanges along the way. Looks like Craig just signed a director for that new movie. Oh, wait. <laughs> I believe someone is calling for Craig now. Let's listen in. He won't have any idea his calls being monitored. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I just heard the Pinnacle tent pole is going to be ready for release in July. Oh, come on. No way. Never going to happen. And I'm not going to change our schedule to beat their release date based on some rumor from the mail room. You're wasting my time. Get me something more reliable than that. Craig may have hung up his cell phone, but... Let's listen in, because we can monitor him even without him having any knowledge that his phone's turned on. I don't think so. There's no way they can pull that off by July. They have to pump in, what, 20, 30 mil? Trust me, not going to happen. I think we're idiots. Yeah, I can't believe they're trying to pull this. The technical capabilities you just witnessed are user-friendly, relatively inexpensive, highly effective, and available to anyone on the Internet. As the diagram illustrates, the capability, sophistication, and availability of commercial technology has increased exponentially in recent years as prices have decreased just as dramatically. Sophisticated implanted audio listening devices are even being sold internationally on the equivalent of the home shopping network. Our latest addition to our spy gadget range is a GSM audio bug. All you need for this to work is this. 
A SIM card, any old SIM card will do from any of the phone companies. All you have to do to get it to work is just slot the SIM card into the side like so. Now, when you want to listen into your bug, all you have to do is call the SIM card number using your mobile or your landline. Then the bug will answer your call silently and you can listen in for as long as you like. But the other person or whatever you're listening to will never, ever know. We have every reason to believe that the pace of technology for both mobile communication devices and the means to exploit them will continue to escalate. However, there are a few things you can do for added security. Always maintain control of your portable electronic device or store it in a properly secured environment. Keep the software on your device up to date. Avoid the temptation to jailbreak your device or run unauthorized applications. And always password protect your devices.